If Port Metro Vancouver's plans for Terminal 2 come true, Port CEO Robin Sylvester claims that it will create more than 18,000 jobs every year. 18,300, to be exact. Every year. Two things strike me as odd about this magic number. It's very high, and it's very precise. So that got me thinking. How do they come up with those numbers? In a word, econometrics, a specialized branch of economics. But this is not an exact science. Winston Churchill famously said that if you give a problem to two economists, you'll get two different answers. Unless, of course, one of them is John Maynard Keynes, in which case you'll get three answers. A variety of techniques is used to estimate the impact of a proposed project, whether it's a pipeline, a smelter, or a new port facility. Once they have figured out the number of direct jobs, in our case the number of people it will take to run a state-of-the-art port, they can then estimate the knock-on effect of those direct jobs. Some fairly complicated math is involved. Fortunately, for guys like me, the whole thing can be reduced to just two words, jobs multiplier. Different industries have different jobs multipliers. An example will help. Let's say that a project has a multiplier of 4.2. That means that for every 100 direct jobs, another 320 indirect jobs will be created. So back to Mr. Sylvester and his 18,300 jobs. When he made that statement, the port had no idea how many people will be employed at the new terminal. Think about that. If Mr. Sylvester does not know how many direct jobs he is starting with, how can he know how many indirect jobs he'll end up with? Whatever multiplier he uses, he has to start with a specific number of direct jobs and extrapolate. It's even more interesting if you work backwards. Start with the 18,300 and apply a typical multiplier, say that 4.2 from earlier. If you do that, you get 4,357 direct jobs. That's right, over 4,000 jobs at the new terminal. But here's the problem. Although the port doesn't know exactly how many people it will use to run the proposed facility, it says that it will definitely be fewer than the 1,200 employees at the current terminal. That's right, 1,200. So even if you started with 1,200 on the proposed Terminal 2, you'll end up with 5,040 jobs in total. A hell of a long way shy of the promised 18,300 you'd need to use a jobs multiplier of 15.25 to make that happen. And that's way off the charts. All for a project we don't even need. So come on, Robin. It's time to tell us what the real numbers are. Enough of this fantasy math.